Well, hey, traders, welcome to today's event. Uh, my name is Jim Simmons with Neural Street Trading Academy. And in this session, uh, what we're going to talk about is what you know typical traders um, really struggle with and how, more importantly, uh, how we can help you resolve these issues. You know, obviously, we don't like to talk about problems. We like to talk about solutions. And that's what we're after here. So let's go ahead and dive in before we get started. Of course, we have our disclaimer here. Let's take a look, take a minute to take a look at that. Uh, Neural Street has no financial interest in the outcome of your trades. We are here for products and services for educational purposes. And there is risk involved with trading. Please understand those risks. So agenda, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, they all pop up at the same time. Good enough. All right, myths versus lies. We're gonna talk about the roller coaster that we face, the edge, trader A versus B. How do we trade? Awareness, learning process, and four phases to becoming a mastermind in trading. I think that's really what we're all after. All right, we'll talk about some user success, trade examples, trade logs, and so on. So dealing with the myths and the lies, you know, the lies that we tell ourselves, as traders, well, we need to risk a lot to make a lot. That's not true. We need to know what the market will do. Not necessarily. You need a statistical edge. You don't need to know what the market's gonna do. None of us know what the market's gonna do every time. You could have everything lining up at the same area. You could have a killer area of interest or support resistance that you draw every day and it works like clockwork. And you come into that level and order flow is setting up and the icebergs are coming in and everything is aligning and the market still goes the other way. You know, it's, there's things that are beyond our control. No matter how hard we try to understand, we're just not going to understand it. And that's okay. We don't have to. We just need a statistical edge. That's what we're after. Uh, we need to be a specific type of trader to make money. Uh, whether that be trends or reversals or breakouts or continuations or, you know, you got to trade support and resistance, you got to trade supply and demand, you got to trade order flow. Uh, you can make money in any type of trading. And it's more about who you are as a trader than what everybody else is doing. Because everybody else is doing something different. I can tell you that. Uh, we need large arm multiples to be successful. Now, this is kind of a touchy subject for some traders. I think Everybody has their own philosophy on this, on uh, risk reward, R multiples. If you're trading with a prop firm, you might need a different R multiple than, uh, than say a standard trader trading their own money. Um, those numbers might be different. Personally, I really like one-to-one. -one. Risk one, make one, in and out, go to the next trade. It's easy for me to figure out the numbers. I don't have to kill myself trying to figure out well, how many wins do I need? Okay, I, I took a loss, so now I need eight winners. You know, I don't, I don't like to deal with all that. I just like to know, okay, if two out of my two out of three trades are successful at a one-to-one, -one, I'm good to go. And I can definitely do that, so that's good. Um, you know, some traders like two-to-one, three-to-one. It just, it just depends on what you're trading. Um, the thing of it is, if you're, if you're a scalper and you're trying to trade two to one, in other words, you're risking one to make two, I don't know why that ratio is said backwards, but it is. Um, but if you wanna make two by risking one, uh, you have to have the right strategy for it. Uh, you're not gonna trade as a scalper trying to get two to one. Uh, it's, it's just not gonna work because if you're only trying to get four ticks on ES, let's say, well, first off, you got this little thing called commission, and that's an issue. Uh, but if you're if you're trying to get four ticks, and you're only risking four, well, that's going to be a tough battle. Okay, so you have to you have to know what works for you based on how you trade. Anyway, the problem with these lies is we develop these unhealthy belief systems, and we all know that. A majority, I don't know what percent, but a majority of trading has to do with what's in our head. What's in your head, right? We've got our head, we got our ears. This is a terrible. We're smiling because we made money for the day. 
And I'm just going to do a little drawing here. This is this happy guy. This is as good as my drawings get. Uh, but it's what happens between here and here. It's what's in our head that affects our trading. There you go. Uh, trying to draw with a mouse is ridiculous. Anyway, what's in your head is what's affecting your trading. And if you have these unhealthy belief systems, then you take a loss and you're going to feel defeated. You're going to feel like, I can't make it as a trader. This is terrible. This is ridiculous. These myths cause fear. They cause anxiety. They cause anger. They cause revenge. They cause a lot of issues. And if you don't see success immediately, well, then you kind of start to uh, you start to feel like crap. And we go through the same process everyone else faces. It keeps us stuck. Well, we don't have to have those same beliefs that every other trader has. It has to be what works for you. So then you get into the emotional roller coaster, right? Uh, you put a trade on. Oh, I hope this works. Oh, uh, that didn't go as planned. Uh, I guess, you know, it worked really great on my testing over the last week. Why didn't it work today? We've all seen that before. Then you get to the top again. And you're like, all right, I got a winning trade. Finally getting it. Wait, I, I thought I had this figured out. But now last week was great and this week's terrible. And then you go to the next week and you're like, all right, I got something else. Let me, let me try this one. Let me plug and play. I plug this strategy in. This would be a good way to do it. I've got it. And then you start taking losses on and you start to think, man, I, I cannot do this anymore. So you give it one last try with another new strategy. And then you realize that if you had just stuck to the rules that you started with over here, you would have actually been successful throughout. And it's something that a lot of traders face, myself included. You know, I'll completely admit to that, that I tend to jump ship if things don't go as planned. I try to try to do something else. Okay? But the negative feedback loop will never let you win because it's designed to fail from the start. The market is not geared toward small lot traders trying to swing for the fences. You're not you're not trying to trade four to one in, in futures. If you are, you're maybe taking. Uh, very, very few trades because the trades have to be very strong. You're getting a lot more stop outs if that's the case because your stop has to be really tight. Um, so anyway, but it's not geared for traders who are trying to swing for the fences. You need to be able to get in the market and know where you're getting out and just get out and don't sit there with, you know, with this trade on losing your mind because the trade's going... You get in here, it's going up and it's going up and then it comes all the way back down and then it goes up and then it goes up and then it comes down, goes through and then finally it goes in and hits target, right? You don't want to sit through all that. You want to get in, get out. That's it. Take the money and run because you're not going to drive yourself crazy doing that. And it's next to impossible to create consistent gains if you do that that way. So how do we make money? Well, we know we can't, predict the market with 100% certainty. None of us can. And even if we have the greatest strategy in the world, you would be like skipping down the street if you were able to get a 90% win rate, right? If we knew what was going to happen in the market with a 90% certainty, we'd all be fortuneers. <laughs> maybe, maybe not millionaires, maybe not billionaires. I don't know what that number is for you, but we'd have a lot of money. But we don't need to be right. We don't need to know what the market will do. We just need to be able to predict a repeatable pattern. Something that always appears, something that produces an opportunity that we can exploit and we can take some ticks out of the market and go about our business. We don't need to go, okay, here's the, you know, market came down, here's the low of the day. And all right, when it comes back into the low of the day, because I got a drop base rally and all right, it's going to come back down and I'm going to get in. I'm going to wait for these guys to run the stops. And then once they do, I'm going to trade it back up here and then I'm going to take it off to the moon and I'm going to put my stop here and it's going to be four to one. Well, that's not that simple. And you may only get one trade a week if you're doing it that way. It's just too hard to do things that way. You're, you're stacking the deck against you in a deck that's already stacked against you. All right, so 
the goal is, the objective is to make money every day. Well, if you're too busy swinging for 40 ticks when you should be swinging for 10, you're going to get a lot less wins than if you sh just shoot for 10 ticks. If you shoot for 10 and you know that the first trade every day you get into the market, you can get 10 ticks. If you knew that with 100% certainty that your first trade was going to be profitable, you would never have to take a second trade. You'd only, you'd only need to take one trade because every first trade's a winner. So the point is the other side of this too is we can be more selective in our trades because it's more important that we take winning trades than that we take more trades. Winning trades are better than more trades. Quality is better than quantity because if you have really, really great quality trades, you don't need to take as many. All you need to do is add contracts. Add contracts. Oops, I don't know why I did that. Add contracts. And when you get to that point, then you can add accounts. If you're trading prop firms, you just add accounts. Make more money that way. It's all about how do we make this as simple as possible for ourselves? How do we give ourselves a chance to really be successful, to stop trying to do the same things everybody else is doing? Newsflash, we already know that over 90% of traders fail. So why are we trying to do the same crap that they're doing? doesn't make any sense. So we got to be different, just different enough to where it makes sense. Okay, so how much do you need to be an extremely profitable trader? Do you need a few ticks a day? Do you need a 0.5 R multiple, a one-to-one? -one? Do you need a two-to-one? You know, there's no right or wrong answer. You know, I may harp on the three-to-one, four-to-one, but for some type of trades, it works great. And there's nothing wrong with that. If you're trying to trade crude at four-to-one, good luck. <laughs> but you don't need a ton of ticks every day to be profitable. If you knew that you could net 20 ticks a day, well, that's enough to cover your commission, assuming you're taking less than 10 trades to get there, for example. But if you know that you could get 20 ticks a day, every day, you're good to go. All you have to do is scale. And we put so much emphasis on making money today. It's not about today. Trading's a long game. If you're focused too much on today, tomorrow will never happen because you will blow out your account. Okay, so try, let go of trying to take the whole market with you. You only need a little. Again, if you were guaranteed to make 10 ticks a day, you would absolutely take it. And what would your life look like? Well, if you're trading one lot, depending on the instrument, 25 to 125, you put it on five contracts. Now you're getting up into the $600 range. 10, you're getting to 1,200. And then if you can multiply this by five to 10 accounts, do the math. There's endless opportunity, but it all starts with becoming consistently profitable with small amounts first. You don't have to trade 10 accounts right out of the gate. You don't have to trade 10 contracts right out of the gate. You start with micros, get good at micros, you move up to full-size contracts and you scale up from there. So there's two types of traders and we encounter both of these and, and a lot in between. These are the extremes. Trader A is going, it's, they're going on a road trip. Trader A needs car key, they need gas, and they need navigation. That's it. Uh, trader B needs the car key, gas, and navigation. Uh, they need the manual, the engine manifesto, detailed breakdown of wiring, backup plan for all the mechanicals, and they end up looking like this. <laughs> I'm sure we've all seen this car somewhere. The point is, A and B will eventually get to where they're going. Though, the question is, who's more likely to enjoy the ride? And I would argue that <laughs> trader A nor trader B are going to get there if you're trading. In trading, I'm going to say neither of these are getting there. You got to be somewhere in the middle. And you need to figure out what that sweet spot is for you. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So how do neural street traders trade? Well, we're looking for a simple system. Now, I'm probably 
how many of you, how many of you are more like trader A? I'm just curious where everybody's at. This will be fun. How many of you are more like trader A? And how many of you are more like trader B? I'm just curious. Give me an answer, A or B. Are you more complicated in your approach to trading or are you really just way too simple? Okay, Lawrence, A. I got to say, I'm a B. I will tell you, I'm probably over here. I tend to be pretty complicated. Yeah, a lot of Bs coming in. I tend to be more complicated. And those of you who have sat through my webinars before, <laughs> Sean especially, and I know you're listening, Sean. <laughs> uh, we know I'm more like Trader B. <laughs> I tend to be pretty complicated, but it doesn't have to be complicated. The more you can simplify what you're doing, but still having the big picture, the better off you're going to do, really. Uh, the, the one thing that I tell a lot of traders that are trying to pass evaluations. How many of you are trying to pass evaluations right now? Just give me a yes in the chat box. You're in an eval. Maybe you're already funded, you know, but we've got some traders trying to pass. The most important thing, if I was to give you one piece of advice as, as a prop trader and as trying to get funded, what you'd want to do. The best thing you can do is pick your best system, one system. And what do I mean by that? One setup. You only need one setup. And no more than two markets. Two markets max. Because anything more than that, and it becomes difficult to keep up with. Because now you're going, wait, I see this system on ES. All right, great. I'm going to go long ES. And then you see a different system to go short on NQ. Well, the problem is that these are sometimes pretty correlated. And so then you get into this battle in your head. Well, if I'm long on ES, shouldn't I be long on NQ? Well, if I'm short on ES, should I, should I be short here too? Well, what if, what if ES is going to keep going up, but then it, you know, NASDAQ's going to go down. I, I don't know what to do. Oh my gosh, it's so confusing. Stop doing that to yourself. Pick one equity to trade. If you trade equities, it's fine. You could trade crude or gold. I don't like trading gold, but knock yourself out. But pick like one or two markets and pick one system that you know inside and out. Man, you could trade that thing with your eyes closed. You know it so well. If you don't know it that well, start studying because <laughs> you need to. Pick one system, simple system, produces a pattern every day without fail. <laughs> yeah, yes, we can help you, Fod. Absolutely. Yeah, we can definitely help you. We've helped thousands of traders, myself included. Yeah, name the system. God, I wish, right? It just depends. Everybody's different. Everybody's different in what system they try to trade. If you need ideas on helping figure out, well, what system should I trade? Like, like what should I do? What we're going to do, and I do this with a lot of our traders, as we go through and we do a quick kind of questionnaire, like how many trades do you want to take per day? And we'll go through this actually later in the event. I do have a slide for that later coming up. Um, but we can help you figure out what's the system for you so that you can try it, make sure it fits you. And if not, we'll find you something else. We got a lot of trading systems, a lot. But we want a pattern that produces every day because we don't want to be sitting there for two hours in a day and we're not getting any trades. And I know I've been there before. You're coming up on noon. You've been sitting in the market for two hours and you're like, I haven't taken a single trade because the market's doing this, right? And it's just, there's no pullback deep enough for you to want to get into the market. And so you're just sitting there waiting for an opportunity. And what happens? You're going, well, I'm not getting any signals. I'm going to take a breakout trade. And then it comes back and it stops you out because now you're forcing trades. So the important thing is you got to have something that's going to give you a pattern every day. You need something that's really simple, easy to follow. Something that you understand and has to be simple to you. What may be simple to you might not be to me and vice versa. 
Again, select only a few markets. I would say two, no more than two. Um, and those two might swap out every day. You know, if um, ES is the strongest market going up and to the right, then, you know, maybe that's the one you trade. And maybe tomorrow, RTY will be the strongest. I don't know. Figure out what works for you, but only try to trade a couple a day. Um, if you see somebody else trading five markets a day, good for them. I don't care if they're making money or not. It's not good for you until you are consistently profitable with one system. Do not try to add to another. Okay. Software and signals to make sure you know when, where, and why you're trading. If you cannot figure out why you're taking a trade, don't take it. If you don't have at least a couple, two, three reasons to take that trade, don't take it. You got to go, you got to be able to look at your setup and go, man, this is a killer trade setup. This is exactly my trade. And I'm going to even put that down here. Make it your trade. If you say, man, this is my trade setup, I'm taking this trade. And if you have something else that's almost your trade setup, almost isn't good enough. Close doesn't matter except for horseshoes and hand grenades. Isn't that a saying? Close is not going to cut it. You need your trade and only your trade. Stops and targets. Pre-planned. Got to know where you're getting in and where you're getting out. Just to say, well, I'm going to go. I'm going to go to the Pacific Ocean. I'm going to go to a beach. Well, you're just going to drive that direction. Eventually, you'll hit it. But you might not get to the beach you want to go to. Know where you're getting in. Know where you're getting out. So you know how to get there. Small objectives, take your ticks and leave. Take your ticks and leave. That's our goal for every day, isn't it? Take our ticks and leave. We got into trading because we wanted to make more money, less time. I'm going to make this a shirt, actually. More money, less time. That's actually a really great idea for a shirt. Don't steal my idea. I'm going to copyright it. <laughs> More money, less time. That's what we're after. More money, less time. Ego, doesn't matter. You can have an ego when you're out to dinner, okay? Until you get done with trading for the day, you don't have an ego. So when you're out to dinner with your, with your family and you're taking your family to a killer vacation because you got all this money from trading, okay, then you can have some ego. Until then, shut up. Take your trade, take your leg ticks, and leave. That's it. Trade for base hits. Use trade copiers to leverage into grand slams. This is something that's more for the prop trader program, but yes, you can use trade copiers. You can leverage that way without killing yourself. It's more of a, um, it's more of a prop trader uh, type of strategy. If you have one account and it's your trading account, well, then you only need to trade your account. Unless you want to trade more accounts, you can. Stop swinging for the fences. The home run hitters always strike out more. Isn't that right? Home run hitters always strike out more. Babe Ruth struck out a lot because he was always swinging for the fences. But when he did hit, it was a big payoff. That goes back to kind of that four to one scenario. You may not get there all the time, but when you do get there, you're going to feel really good. The problem is, you got to have one out of three have to be winners. It's based on the math, right? Short market exposure. And we talked about this one already. Don't, don't sit there through a trade. If it's going up, down, left, right, it's not going anywhere. Just get out of the trade and wait for the next one. And if it goes to hit your target without you, so be it. Let it. You can look back at the market anywhere and say, well, I should have gotten in here and should have sold here. It's not that simple. Don't drive yourself nuts in the process of trying to trade. All right, poll. Let's run our poll here. No, poll. Let me do a poll. Usually it's already set up. I knew I should have double checked. All right, who here is struggling? I'm just going to type this out real quick because I want to do an actual poll. Are you struggling? Uh, one, yep. Choice two, breaking even. And choice three, oh, 
profitable. Okay, saving. And we are now launching. Sorry if there's any typos. I don't really care. I just want to get it out there. Give me one second. I'm going to mute for a second. Okay, I don't like wear these uh, this headset a lot. My ears get itchy. Sometimes you just get this itch in your ear and you're like, just gonna stab myself in the ear. It's so bad. All right, so we'll we'll do this poll here. Just curious where everyone's at. I'm curious about something else too, and this will be kind of a fun little question. You know, we're just all friends here, just kind of hanging out. That's the way I like to look at these events, right? We're just part of a community. We're all in this together. We're all trying to figure out, we're all going to the same damn place, right? So here's my question. How many of you, your family knows whether or not you had a winning day? How many of you at the end of your trading day, your family just by reading you can tell if you had a winning day or a losing day? Anybody wanna chime in on that one? I know for me, my family could probably tell a little bit. I like to think I hide it pretty well, but I probably don't. <laughs> Anybody else, your family's like, uh-oh, I, I had a losing day today. Someone's a little grumpy. Someone got into the cookie jar. Somebody's eating cookies because they had a bad day of trading. I had an okay day of trading today. It was fine. It was fine. I'm up for the day, no complaints. But I traded in Sim today because I'm trying some new stuff. Shocker, I'm trying new stuff. I know. <laughs> they, don't, they don't pay attention unless I have a really lousy day. Yeah, that's, that's understandable. Uh, wife doesn't know that I have a passion for trading. Oh, okay. Well, that's between you and your wife. But anyway, so let's go over the poll. We've got... 67% saying, yep, I need some help. 20% are breaking even. That means 87% are not profitable. And then 13% are. So to those of you who are profitable, way to go. And if you want to get to the next level and learn more, well, we can help you do that. For those of you who are struggling, like really struggling, you're, you're not getting anywhere, you're spinning your wheels, I would say what we're going to talk about with Mastermind is probably more for like the break-even traders who just can't put, you know, they just can't get themselves to stop trading because that was me. I'm going to end the poll here. That was me. I was a break-even trader and I'm like, man, I just cannot get to the other side of this thing. I've been trading for a decade. And I got to the point where I said, okay, it's now or never. I'm going to do this and I'm going to get there or I'm going to hang it up and I'm going to be done. So I joined Mastermind and it worked. It really helped me. I'm now consistently profitable. Yeah, I do have bad days. And you know what? I've been funded as a trader before. And I've not been funded as a trader before. I've had accounts, lost accounts, got accounts. It's trading. And you have to be disciplined enough to be able to stick with it and keep going. So. I can tell you there is a way to get consistently profitable and we can help you do that. And more importantly, I can tell you that the program that I'm gonna show you can help you do that as well. Uh, this is built for traders who are struggling and wanna get help, okay? So what do day traders struggle with the most? Well, there's over leveraging. Um, and you could put, you know, just in your own head, answer these questions for yourself. You don't have to put them in the chat box, but answer these questions for yourself. Is this something you're struggling with now? Is this something you have struggled with in the past, but not anymore? Or is this something you've never struggled with? Okay, so we've got now, it's a struggle. Uh, in the past, it was a struggle or never. Okay, now this is just a good kind of wake up call. It's not for us to sit here and talk about all our problems, you know, trading so hard. That's not what this is about. Be honest with yourself. Is this something you struggle with now, in the past, or never? And just write it out for yourself. Over leveraging. Yep, guilty. Probably a little bit still now. And I'll be honest with you, I'll tell you where I stand. 
over trading. Yep. Not as much anymore. Um, depends on the day. <laughs> Revenge trading. Been there, done that. Didn't do it today. That's good. Have before. Wasn't that long ago. Stops too tight or too loose. This one I'm actually pretty good on. I don't really do that. I set pretty pretty standard stops and I, I don't move them or mess with them. Too tight, too loose. No stops at all or the stops giving getting moved. Uh, this is something I, I did when I first started. I don't do it anymore. Don't know where to get in or get out. That's definitely a past one for me. I know where I want to get in and out. Market always doesn't always agree with me on that, but I know what I want to happen. Turn winning traders into losers. Guilty. Guilty as charged. Maybe not so much anymore. You don't need to be right. If you're going up and it misses your target and it comes back, get out. Stop trying to sit there and go, well, it's just going to dip a little deeper and then go hit. You don't know that. It didn't hit target the first time. It's probably not going to work out. Just get out of the trade. Wait for the next one. Uncontrollable emotions. Been there, done that. I've experienced that before. Poor strategy or no strategy. Or you never wrote it out, which I think is actually the next one. And no written trade plan. How many of you here have a written trade plan? Just put a yes in the chat box. If you have a written trade plan that has all of your criteria, where you get in, where you get out, what time you trade, how many contracts, your risk reward metrics, your drawdown management. And Lawrence does, very, very good, Lawrence. Anybody else have a written trade plan? How many of you need a written trade plan? If you need a written trade plan, just put a, a need in the chat box. If you need a written trade plan that, oh, by the way, actually works, then uh, just put a need in there, okay? So we got a good number of you saying, yeah, that's me. I need that. I need it. We can help you do that. We can help you do that for sure. That's what this is all about. Let's talk about the learning process. How do we actually learn? Let's figure this out first, okay? Yeah, it's got to actually work, right? The trade plan is great, but you want it to work. So let's talk about how do we actually learn? And this can really apply to any area of life, but of course we formatted it to trading. Well, if seeing is believing, you cannot believe something until you've seen it. You see, uh, you know, I can tell you all day, Gilbert Simpson, our trade room moderator, trades at about 70% profitable trades. If you're a trader coming off the street and this is your first time at any webinar with us, you're probably going, yeah, right. I'd like to see that. Oh, by the way, he's been doing it for years. But you got to see it to believe it. Why should you believe me? I could tell you all day, trades at 70%. Makes really great money trading. I don't know how much. I don't dare ask. I don't need to know. I know he's very good. Okay, so seeing is believing though. Believing is what leads to trust. When you can see it, believe it, you start to trust it. When you trust someone or something, you are now open. If you can trust and believe in something, you're now open to actually learning what that person is teaching. If I tell you, okay, Gilbert trades at 70%, got to see it to believe it. Once you believe that, because you've seen it over and over, you start to trust him. You're open now to learn what he has to say because odds are he's probably trading better than us. And that's okay because he's really good. But learning leads to doing. Once you learn something, you have to do it. And you have to do it over and over and over because that is what leads you to get better. If you learn a new strategy and you go take it to your eval the next day, you're going to bomb. I'm just going to be straight with you. You're going to, you're going to stink everything up. It's going to be awful because you're going to make mistakes because you haven't done it. And it's not to say that you don't understand how it works. You might just not execute exactly right because you're new to it. I could tell you all day how to swing a golf club. But if I go to do it, the ball is not going where I want it to go. <laughs> I'm not a good golfer, by the way, in case you haven't figured that out. But you, you have to actually do it. 
you have to you have to click the button you have to enter the trade you have to see it work out improvement is what leads to excellence when you can get really really good at something that is when you become a consistent trader this is what all of us are after 87 percent of us in the room are not there okay so this is the process and I like to point this out for these events because it's just a good reminder that you cannot skip steps. You have to go in order. Well, what comes after consistency? Income, which is what all of us are after because income leads to wealth and wealth leads to financial freedom. Financial freedom leads to more time because if you have financial freedom, nobody can tell you what to do with your time. You can do whatever you want because you have enough money that you don't have to worry about it. And more time leads to better relationships and better health, which leads to better quality of life. Okay. So it all starts with seeing is believing. So that's where we need to start. So what options do we have available to learn? Well, we have self-study. Uh, trading's hard. Good luck trying to do it on yourself, by your by yourself, on your own. It's not going to work. I'm just going to tell you. you. I've never heard of any profitable trader say, I did this all myself and never once got any help. Nope. Never heard it before, never will. It doesn't happen. Trade room. You can go to a trade room and you can learn some things, but you can only learn so much in a trade room because you're just watching somebody do it and they may not go through every detail of how they came up with the conclusion to go long at X. And I'm going to go here and that's where I'm going to go. And you may not know all the details of where to get in and out. You can see it and you got to see it to believe it. So that's important, but that's not the end all be all. Group coaching. Group coaching has about a 50% success rate. It's about 50% actually. And the reason for that is you're in a small group and you can maybe ask some questions. Uh, you can maybe ask your neighbor or another you know, person, another student, what they think about it and they might give you the right answer. But you can ask questions so you can get a little further, right? But the difference is when you get to one-on-one -on -one coaching, what is the difference here? Well, with one-on-one -on -one coaching, it's all about you. In the group, it's what mistakes is the group making? What mistakes is the group dealing with? One-on-one -on -one is all about what are the mistakes that you're dealing with in your trading strategy, in your emotional makeup? What do you struggle with? It's not about what the group's doing more focused on you, which is going to give you a better, uh, better result. So the, the process, again, you got to see that it can be done and you got to go to class, you got to learn how it's done. And then you got to do it yourself in sim and you got to get coaching and feedback and continue your development. Yeah. And different thoughts can kill the group, right? How many of you have been part of a group that was like, oh, somebody was really negative? And you're just dying to get that person out of there, like somebody you work with. You're like, man, every time I talk to you, you got something negative to say. I don't want to hear it anymore. Just go away. Go rain on somebody else's parade, right? We try to have a really good focus group, very, very uh, success, you know, very focused traders that are um, in, in it for their success. Okay? So let's talk about the, uh, the, you know, how we trade as new traders. So this is when a new trader is stepping into the market or a novice or somebody who's not been around a while, they see a map and they're looking at the map today and they're going, man, the sun is shining. I'm going to go to North Beach at Chicago and I'm just going to hang out because it's such a beautiful day and everything's going to be awesome and I'm going to eat lunch outside and this is great. Sun is shining. I'm making money. But what they don't see is that there's this massive storm coming their way. It's headed right for them. And it is going to rain on their parade, on their picnic, whatever. It's coming their way. This is the difference between a rookie trader, a novice trader, and pro traders. Pro traders see all of this. Rookie traders see this. And they go, they're looking at the chart and they're like, man, this is a perfect setup right here. 
I'm getting long because I know that's my setup. And then what happens? You get in, that's what you're seeing that it's going to do. And the market does this and it does that. And we've all been subject victim to that before. And it happens. But the difference is you might be seeing one thing and the pro traders going, this is really weak support. It is not going to hold up. You're lucky if you get a little blip. And then the market's going to keep on going because it's going for liquidity that's down here. And that pro trader can help give you some insight on what needs to happen in your trading. What are the things you need to add to your trade plan? How do you need to get better? Because it's all about the big picture. Trade plans, things that go into a trade plan, this is just kind of as a reference. Uh, but Churchill said it, he who fails to plan is failing to plan or planning to fail. I'm sure, you know, it's like anytime you have a, a, a quote, you might as well just put Henry Ford after it because I feel like he's credited with everything. But these are the things that go into a trade plan. And I'll just kind of rattle off the list here and we'll just go through some really important ones. Uh, what's your mission? Why do you trade? And what's your purpose? Why do you do it? And where do you want to go? What's your vision for where you want to go with this thing? What are your formats, your daily routine, money management? Okay, If you don't know how much you can lose in a day, you need to know how much you can lose in a day. Risk management, how do you manage your trades? You know, Once you get into a trade, if you're up 10 ticks, do you move your stop to break even, whatever the case. Drawdown management, this is the most important factor on the list, drawdown management. If you don't have a drawdown management plan, you need one. And then four-step process is something inside. Uh, trade entry parameters, where do you get in and out? Notice how this is not the first thing on the list. It's like way later on the list. How do you keep records so that you know if you're getting better or worse? Strengths and weaknesses, what are you good at? What are you not? Okay, so these are all very important things. Mental and physical health, again, we talked about a majority of trading is inside the head. So how do you manage yourself? That's the most important thing because if you can't manage yourself, you cannot manage your trades. So we, let's go back to who are you as a trader? Okay, this is probably one of the most important things that I figured out in the course of my, um, my time in, in Mastermind. I needed to know who am I as a trader and who am I not? What am I good at and what am I not good at? I'm not good at sitting around waiting for trades. I'm not good at it. I know I'm not. It's really hard for me to sit there for an hour and not take a trade. I am an active trader. So I know I need an active trade strategy, right? I also know that I tend to be a little bit more emotional. I, that's probably everybody, but maybe I'm worse. I have no idea. But I get a little bit emotional. So I want quick in, quick out. Okay? I want to know that when I get into a trade, I can be out in like one to two minutes. That's as long as I wanna hang on to the trade. And if it keeps going up in my direction for 10 minutes, so be it. I don't care. I wanna take my money and I wanna go about my day. That's it. So that's me. And I know that's who I am as a trader. And so everything that I do to develop my trading strategy revolves around some of my core principles. What do I stand for as a trader and who am I and who am I not? These are very important. And the things that you can ask yourself to kind of do this evaluation is how many trades do you want to take? How many losses can you stand to take in a day before you start banging your fist on the desk? Uh, do you prefer trends, reversals, breakouts? What time frames, instruments? How many? How long do you trade? What time do you trade? Those of you in Australia might be trading different times than us in the US, you know? How long do you trade? How many systems can you trade with before you start going and uh, making mistakes? How many, how many systems can you trade with? How much are you trading with? How much can you lose? How much do you need to make? All these things, very, very important. We can help you identify these things. So we have a four step process. We're gonna go over that. Let's go over them one at a time. There's four steps that we can take you from break even or losing trader to consistent profitability, which is what we're all after. To so where you're like doing it professionally and you've got a plan and it's written out 
And more importantly, you're actually following your trade plan. It's good to have a trade plan. It's garbage if you don't use it. So step one, we need to map out how much do you need to make? How much money are you gonna make? And what markets are you gonna trade? That's what we figure out first, okay? And then more importantly, we figure out what are you struggling with? Like what is your, your the issues that you're dealing with? Because everybody's different. And we'll look through, you know, probably a list of them and say, what's your biggest, biggest issue right now? Are you over leveraging? Are you over trading? You know, we'll go through those things like we did. Step two, we're going to teach you our core trading strategies. Now, in Mastermind, there's kind of a few different ways you can learn trading strategy. You can get into the indicators plan and there's about 100 hours of education. And you kind of got to sort it out and you kind of got to go through it one pace at a time. And it takes a while and there's a lot of really good content in there, but you kind of got to watch everything to figure out what works for you. So it's pretty complicated. And then you have the prop trader program. Anybody here in the prop trader program? I think I saw a couple of you. There's a few of you in here and there's some strategy there, right? Al, yeah, there's some strategy in the prop trader program and it's good. It's very good. Very, very good. But it is designed to, if this is your roadmap or your you know, process of everything that you need to learn to get to your destination, right? Let's say this is your destination. Prop Trader program is here, but you didn't get all of this, but you need to get all of that. You need to know this is, all of this over here is the big picture. It's all the other stuff. like. How did we actually come up with the trading strategies? Those type of things. Right? This will give you all that info. Um, the other advantage to Mastermind versus, say, Indicator Plan is in Mastermind, we're going to go start to finish on every trade strategy. Start to finish. So you're not going to, well, there's this lesson over here, and then I need this one down here, and then I need that lesson, and I need that lesson, and I need this one. And you're trying to piece them all together, and you're like, okay, I don't, wait, I forgot this one here. What we do in Mastermind is we take this whole thing and we put it all into one lesson. What do you need to know for that trading strategy? And then all of the other important factors too, like, for example, trading structure, um, momentum and divergence, support and resistance, supply and demand, order flow, Fibonacci's. Now, there's so many different factors that we could benefit from that would help us. Volume profiles, knowing where the volume stacked. Um, all of these are important things, so we'll teach you all of that. The idea of this is that we can, by the process of elimination, we can figure out, well, what is your trading system? What are you going to trade? What is it for you? Because We've already identified everybody's different. And then this is the big one. What are you good at? What are you not? Are you really good at sitting around waiting for a trade? And you got to map your trade out in advance. And once you know your trade is mapped out, you're good. And you just sit and wait for your trade. And you take one trade a day. Maybe that's you. Maybe you're the exact opposite like me. And you go, man, if I sit there for an hour and don't take a trade, my mouse is going to start clicking <laughs> and I'm going to take a crappy trade. You know, that's me. So we'll help you figure out what are you good at? What are you not? So we can get you on the right track. And then we move to step three, which is where you start building out your entire trade plan. What's your risk reward? What's your money management plan? Draw down management. It's the number one factor in any trade plan is draw down management. You need to know if you're starting with 10,000, I can lose 2,500, let's say, okay? So that's your max drawdown. But what happens when you get to 12K? Is your drawdown still 2,500? It's definitely not 4,500 because if you were able to get to 7,500, right? That's what would be left over. Well, now this would be 4,500. But if you, if you do that, you haven't made any money. So you need to know what's your, what's your drawdown. As your account balance hopefully does this, you need to know, okay, I'm not going to go below here. I'm not going to go below here. 
the, the drawdown needs to move up, right? Anyway, that's the idea. Drawdown management, very, very important. And then we help you finish off your trade plan. At that point, you move to step four, which is where you're going to now trade your plan. You're going to take notes. You're going to take pictures of your trades. You're going to log your trades. And then you're going to ask for help. If you need help, it's on you. Reach out. We will help you. The whole idea is that this is designed to give you an extra edge in mentorship. Somebody that can answer questions, help you fix problems. That's what this is all about. We have weekly group classes that meet from 2 to 3.30 Eastern time. Okay, so that's uh, Mondays every week, unless it's a holiday. Trade log. This is Gilbert's trade log from last year. 77% win rate. Not too shabby. You say, well, that was last year. What have you done for me lately? All right. So let's go take a look at where it is today. I haven't looked at it, but I'm so confident because I know that this guy is good. Uh, where? I just saw it. Where did it go? I had it ready. That's it. I'm logging in. All right, let's go log in and I'll show you his trade log so you can see like, who are you learning from? Does this trader actually know what the heck they're talking about? Okay. They moved everything around. Okay, so here's the members area for just, you know, general, um, this is just the general members area. Trade log. Woo boy. 71% January, 75% February, 70%, 70 70%, 90%, 81, 85, 76% win rate, 77%, 76.65%. In other words, 77%. How many of you can live with 77% win rate? You guys good with that? Like, is that somebody you can learn from? Well, what's the risk reward? It's at least one to one. Can you make money at one to one risk reward at 77% win rate? Yes, you can. That's three out of four trades profitable. So let's do the math since we're at it. You got three trades where you make 20 ticks. You got one trade where you lose 20 ticks. How much have you made? 40 ticks, which means your average is 10 ticks per trade. So if you make 20 ticks and you only need to make 20 ticks for the day, take the money and run, who cares? Yeah, but I'm gonna miss out on three winning trades. Who cares? You made what you needed to, get in, get out, go about your day. Let's look at lately. Let's just see what he's up to lately. We can take a look at what trades he's been doing. How many of you have been in the trade room with Gilbert? Anybody been in his trade room? Got trend trader today. That's AT trader. Low volume nodes. There is not a soul that I have met who is better at trading low volume nodes than this guy right here. And he's like 70%. And that's not even his best trade. Guy's just nuts. He's so good. So this is who you get to learn from. And this is somebody who can give you the insight on what you need to know. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna play a testimonial. Let me share my audio so you can actually hear. Uh, share sound. All right, this is one of our traders who went through Mastermind. I don't want you to just hear it from me. Okay, so let's hear it from David. Are you coming? Nope. Let me hit play. Is it going to work? Are you going to work? No? Okay. There it is. Well, it's good to meet you finally too, David. I, I've seen your name yes, and, you, you know, seen you in the threads and stuff. So it's good to yeah. put, you know, finally chat. So, all right. So uh, thanks for doing this again. So first off, how was the mastermind program different or even better than say the trade room and the indicators and courses? What made it different? All right, well, the mastermind is definitely better. I mean, you know, the, the live trade room is great. You, you you do learn some stuff there, but it's obviously not 
uh, not that necessarily one on one, but you know, in the mastermind, you have so much more opportunity to ask questions, to to double check stuff. Uh, you know, um, when you do a trade, you can go in there and post it in the Discord group, and you know, ask Gilbert like in the futures one, say, hey, is this? How does this look? Uh, I can match to what he's doing, and I can say, okay, I'm in sync. So it's a lot different. Look, you know, it's a, it's. A, I don't want to say slower pace, but just more control pace, I guess. Well, yeah. Live trade room is a live trade room, right? Things are happening as yeah. they go right now. And minimal time to really answer too many questions, obviously. For yeah. sure. Yeah, it makes sense. Perfect. And what were the, th the top three things that you got out of this process that really turned your trading around for you? Well, um, number one, it taught me how to take less trades. So before I was taking way too many trades. So even when I did... Uh, make um when i had good days um it was a lot of drawdown because i was just taking too many trades and then i was mainly in recovery mode i wasn't taking smart trades so going into the uh, mastermind now it taught me how to take better trades uh be more patient and wait for your trades and learning not that i have to trade every day that was my other bad habit that i had before i got into the mastermind yeah. i felt like i had to trade every day like i had to get as soon as i turned on the computer i had to trade yeah i'd be in a trade and and that kind of it's not the way it has to be, right? That you can, if you miss a trade today, there's always tomorrow to, 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 to probably yeah. potentially get in the trade. So that, that is kind of the, the main three points. Patience is one of the biggest things that, that I learned and, and waiting for my trade, waiting yeah. for the trade that I should be getting in instead of just jumping to the first trade I see. For sure. I just have to pause it here because he literally just said what we just talked about. He waits for his trades, not trying to trade every trade, he's just waiting for his so important and so waiting for that restraint your trading is going a lot better than definitely yeah yeah, yeah that's awesome. much better uh, like i said much more control um even if i trade doesn't go in my favor i, I have a better understanding why it didn't versus if it didn't work and, and even if it works i know why it worked which is yeah. the key to learning how to trade right not just knowing exactly. you know even when it does go well you don't want it to be like a guess well just went my way. That's, you know, <laughs> yeah. You want to know why I went your way. Yeah, you exactly. want to work out, right? yeah. yeah, absolutely. And then last question, do you feel it was uh, worth the investment? Is it something that you would recommend to the others? I definitely would. I definitely would recommend it. Um, it's the, it's like, I, I made a comment to, I think I put in Discord too, and I, I personally believe, had I not found uh, you guys and joined the mastermind, I potentially probably would be done trading as of today. I would just not because I think I would have just uh, probably potentially blow my account and just, yeah. um, you know, just given up, said enough was enough, you know, and, and just felt that yeah. maybe trading wasn't for me. For know? sure. So, uh, so it's a big, definitely a big plus, big benefit. Definitely worth the, the money for sure. I've gotten that just in the education alone and, and where I am as a trader right now, regardless of what my account looks like, I've gotten tenfold what I paid for the account. For, for the awesome. mastermind. Very good. Very good. Well, thanks again, David, for uh, for hanging out with us and sharing sure. your thoughts. We'll be sure to share this with our community. Uh, we really appreciate it, and congrats on the success, and we'll keep moving forward together. Thank you. Okay. Awesome. Thanks a lot, Jim. You bet. Okay. Bye-bye. So there you go. You know, I mean, you, you just got to hear it from another trader, too, and you're probably thinking, well, man, they're really kind of harping on this thing. Like, it's they're really hitting hard. And it's not that, you know, it's, it, we really want to show everybody that, that it does work because, because it does. And it's, you know, how else are you going to know that unless we show you, right? And seeing is believing. So what is it that you really want as a trader? Do you want more time with family? Do you want to exit the rat race? Do you want to travel the world? Everybody's got their reason that we got into the, into trading in the first place. And I can tell you that all these things better, lifestyle and time with family and all these things that we all want they're all fine but they're all a consistent they're all a byproduct of being a consistent trader you cannot be experiencing any of these things unless you get consistent first and i would say getting to consistency has more to do with you and you know i'll put myself in that same spot it has more to do with us individually than it does the strategy or how much you know. Like there are traders who are really, really good that don't that don't even know as maybe as much as I do. And they're a better trader than I am. And it's just because they are able to manage themselves, manage their emotions, 
and manage their trades. You know, they, they're just, some people are better at it than others, you know? So, but the point is all of these things are a byproduct. You got to get consistent first. If you're not there, we want to help you get there. And I hate to break it to you. You know, it's, it's really hard to get consistent on your own. If you need help, that's okay, but get help because it's a lot easier to do it if you've got somebody helping you out in your corner. Okay. And we want to, we want to do that for you. So what's included, you get access to the instructor, you get access to a private group of traders uh, through discord. There's a private discord thread Four phase framework. We talked about basic and advanced trader problem solving, basic and advanced system training, basic and advanced risk and money management. And you have a private video library. There's like two years plus of um, lessons from mastermind in the library right now that you can cut your teeth on and then of course we have our classes every monday that you can jump right in okay so it's kind of an ongoing rotation we uh we just kind of keep going through the curriculum and we keep making it better as we go of course that's the point right ongoing support and most importantly you have someone that you can reach out to and get help you can say here's what i'm trading here's my trade plan something's messed up and I don't know what it is. Can you help me? And we can look at it and we can help you figure it out. Help you figure out what needs to be fixed. Okay. So pricing, you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, this is going to cost a fortune. It's peanuts. I mean, let's be honest. Like it's peanuts for what you can get out of it. This is nothing. We've all spent more than this on some stupid gadget that doesn't even work. Like this is nothing. So if you need help, this is the cost of getting help. That's it. It's 1490. We're not going to do any gimmicks or, you know, coupons or sales or not, it, none of that. This program used to be over $5,000. Don't tell the people that are in it now. I'm just kidding. They didn't pay that much. But the point is we want to be able to offer this to more traders because we see the value in it. So it's only 1490. I'm going to post the uh, link here in the chat box. If you want to get help, and you want to get to the next level in trading, I don't care if you're in the um, prop trader program or not. I do care because I, th I think that's awesome, but this is still something that you can benefit from. Yep, it's an annual fee. You get access to it for a year. I don't think you would need more than that. I think um, realistically, like for me, and I'm stubborn, I'll admit, it took me about six months to get consistently profitable and going through the mastermind. Took me about six months. And that was just because I really wanted to try the different trading strategies and see what works for me. So, but it's annual. Um, you, can, you can be done at the end of the year or you can renew at the end of the year. Um, if you want to keep going for another year, we usually break the price down quite a bit. So you can, um, you can get better pricing on year two. So if you need it, um, some want to stick with it because they like the community and they like going through the lessons and they want to keep, keep up with it, so. Uh, you do not have to be a ninja trader to use the program. Um, you can use a different strategy uh, or I mean a different uh, platform. Uh, I think it's it's good if you do have it's good if you do have the ninja trader, but you don't need it. You don't have to. Already in the prop program, yeah, great. Prop program is not going to give you coaching though. You can ask questions, you can get answers, but um, it's going to be hard to get more detail on like, well, here's my trade plan, or can you help me put my trade plan together? Or like, this is not what prop trader program is designed to do. Now, if you're profitable in the prop program by following the trade room and all that, that's great. And then maybe this becomes a next step for you down the line and, you know, maybe just cruise with what you're doing. But, but if you're not profitable in passing evaluations, there's something that needs to be fixed, honestly. And, and I could say that to myself too, like, it, you know, all of us are in the same boat here. If you're not passing combines or evals, and if you're not where you want to be as a trader, that's okay. But we, well, it's not okay. We can help you get there. Okay. And this is, this is what it's for. Okay. Yep. Hit 50 K target with 14 days of trading. Awesome. Very, very good. Now comes the hard part. <laughs> the hard part is keeping the account. <laughs> So I can tell you from personal experience. So that's the hard part. But if you need help, this is this is the way to go. Um, if you're you know if you're kind of doing 
doing fine. No, no problem. And if it's, you know, it's not for you yet, no problem. Um, we're just putting it out there because it's, it's really a great program. That's what it's designed for. Um, it's just one year from whenever you start. So if you start, you know, if you start today, you'll, you'll have until July 21st next year. Um, the rounds, as far as the education curriculum, it's about a three month, three to four month um, process on the education. You don't have to step in at week one. You can come in at any time and you won't really be lost. We would probably suggest to go through the first couple lessons that talk about like the foundational stuff. Probably recommend go through those. And then you can, um, you can jump in anywhere. And if they reference something that was in a previous video or something like that, then you can ask the question, hey, um, what did I miss? I'm not familiar with that. Can you explain yourself? And we'll do that. And then if you need to go watch a previous lesson, then you go do that. Not a big deal. So you can start at any time. There's no like, got to start at round one, nothing like that. Although maybe we should do that now. I just kidding. You can join anytime. But um, this particular offer is, it's the lowest priced offer. I mean, this is like, there is not anything that is, that we can, we can never offer this less expensive than that. There's just too much involved. So, so there it is. Any questions? Anybody got any questions? Now is your chance, ask away. Um, let me set up another poll too, actually. Let me create another poll just to get a curious. If you have questions, that way you can, I can reach out and we can answer any questions you have. Uh, let's do another one. Hmm. I don't know how to do another one. That's okay. I'll put my email in chat box. If you have questions and, or if you wanna, we can, We'll take, let's go into the members area. Let's do that now. I'll kind of show you around here. So this would be the dashboard. And then we would go to mastermind. So you can enter the class. That's how you get to the class. Schedule one to 2.30, instructions. You get access to the discord. Mastermind current round, round five. Position sizing worksheet. Um, let me take a look at this section. What's this one? Oh, this is that one. Oh, that's cool. All right, so you get a little worksheet and then old classes are here. Futures and Forex. All the previous rounds and then all the videos before that. I mean, you can see this goes back quite a ways. It's about two years worth. Looking at the prop program, would it be better to do this first? You know, it's a tough, it's a tough answer, honestly. Um, let's chat. Let's chat on it and we'll figure it out together. How's that? Um, just send me an email and we'll set something up. Maybe we'll just chat on the phone or something briefly. Yeah, it's hard to say, you know, there's a lot of advantages to the prop program. There absolutely is because you get the trade room and all of that um, versus this is more like the group coaching does not come with a trade room, but if you're in here in the mastermind, I'll make sure you get a very, very good deal for so that you can keep the indicator plan and go to the trade room and all that stuff. So we'll make sure you get something super special. So yeah, what else? Yeah, good stuff. Uh, let me see if I can pull up the, let's pull up the mastermind thread. I'll just kind of show you, you know, this is what our, um, what our masterminds are kind of up to. We see grams trading with order flow. And, um, you know, the traders that are in there are posting trades and ideas and asking questions and, you know, getting answers from Gilbert's asking que or answering questions about where to trade and when and, you know, all that good stuff. Um, posting his trades in here, there's a low volume node. It's like freaking clockwork with these things, I tell you. There's another one, low volume node. But yeah, so you get access to this as a mastermind trader. It's pretty, pretty nice. And it's mostly, it's mostly futures. There's Roy's in there showing off his trades. Good stuff. 
anyway, there's a good group of traders in there if you have questions. Um, yeah, good stuff. Good, good, good. I think, I think that's about it. I think we covered it all. Um, if you're struggling as a trader and you don't know what the solution is, if you don't think it's this, if you think it might be something else or if you need something else, um, reach out to me. Let's figure it out. Okay. We don't want you to struggle in your trading anymore. Period. End of story. Why should you? Get traders that are killing it. Why can't you be one of them, right? Okay. That's all I got for you. I appreciate you. Thanks. Thanks so much for coming out and hanging out with me. It's always more eventful than not being here by myself. That's always a good thing. So we had a good group today. So thanks so much for coming out. If you have any questions, let me know. Yes, L. Absolutely. Does this cover any indicators of software? No, it, it doesn't. However, um, I'll make sure that if you want to do this, I'll make sure you get the absolute best pricing you can for indicators and trade room and all that stuff. Super cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Uh, what times a day are available for coaching? Uh, we're pretty flexible. You know, we have we have traders in the mastermind that are in Australia and and have very very different schedules, so we're pretty flexible on that. Um, the only time that would be off limits would be like the morning trade room hours, but otherwise, it's pretty open. Yeah, I'm not sure if Gilbert ever sleeps. To be honest with you, <laughs> he's up at like three in the morning Eastern time. So I don't know. Yeah. Good stuff. Cool, cool. All right. I think we're good. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. If you need anything else, though, just shoot me a message and I'll be happy to chat. Otherwise, have a fantastic rest of the week. Enjoy the weekend. We will see you Monday in the trade room. And if you need anything before then, be the squeaky wheel. Reach out. We're happy to help. Cheers, everybody. You all have a fantastic day. Take care.